Hello friends, welcome to the IMTS Institute's counseling session. How are you all? Hope every one of you are doing well. Since our childhood, very often we come across terms like doctors and engineers whenever there is any discussion regarding career. So today, we will discuss about one of the most popular courses that is BTEC, which deals with engineering. This course is in great demand in the world of corporate. It is based on applied sciences, which helps the students to learn and be able to apply the knowledge in real life. So today I will try to answer some of the questions that will help a student know more about the course and the career opportunities one can have after completing the degree. Let's begin with the first question that what do we mean by a BTEC degree and who can opt for this course? BTEC is an undergraduate degree course for a Bachelor of Technology. For pursuing this course, the eligibility criteria are students should be from a science background and have a subject combination of physics, chemistry and mathematics as compulsory subjects in class 12th and the total percentage should be from 50 to 60 percentage overall. For selection purposes, some of the universities conduct entrance exams separately. Moreover, a national level entrance exam is conducted every year for all the aspirants of engineering. The name of the exam is JEE, which is known as the Joint Entrance Examination. And the syllabus of this examination covers chapters of physics, chemistry and mathematics from class 11th and 12th only. Next, let us find out what are the specializations offered in a BTEC degree. Some of the specializations are mechanical engineering, electronics and computer engineering, automobile engineering, robotics and automation, data science and artificial intelligence. BTEC biotechnology, civil engineering, chemical engineering, aeronautical engineering, biomedical engineering and many more such technology oriented courses. So before proceeding further, I request all the students to understand whether they have any fascination with technology based subjects or not, or else it will be very difficult to cope up with this degree even after putting a lot of effort. Now, if we talk about the duration of this course, then it is of four years. Generally, it is divided into eight semesters and usually examinations are held every semester. The fees for doing engineering are very high. So one should keep that in mind before selecting the subject. However, both regular and distance mode of education is available for this degree. In distance mode, the fee structure is lesser than the regular mode. The fee starts from rupees 10,000 to 20,000 for each semester in distance mode and it can vary from one university to another. Finally, I would like to share the most important piece of information on career opportunities that are available after BTEC degree. After completing an engineering degree, there is scope in almost all the sectors like automobile industries, power plants, software designing, space research organization, technical supervisor for construction and development. One can even work in multinational companies like Google, TCS, Infosys. Apart from this, people from engineering backgrounds can develop apps for commercial purposes. Those who are interested in coding have a great demand at present for designing websites. After completing BTEC, one can even go for higher studies for pursuing MTech and further become a lecturer by profession. I think this video will help all the students who are planning to pursue BTEC degree after completing class 12th. Please share the video among your friends and if you have any question then feel free to ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching.